Good morning, um, everyone. World Environment Day is an occasion to raise awareness and encourage action to protect our environment, so it's a real pleasure to be with you today. Protecting the planet is not a luxury, it's a necessity. The COVID-19 pandemic has rightly drawn our attention to the health crisis, along with its immense social and economic effects. But the fact is that diseases that jump from animals to humans frequently have environmental roots. And let's not forget that the costs of COVID-19 could be dwarfed by those we would incur by not properly dealing with the climate change. Rising environmental stresses leave our societies vulnerable to natural disasters, resource scarcity, and disease. And we know that it is the poorest who suffer the most. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the WTO, and our founders clearly recognized that the well-being of people was closely linked to the well-being of the planet. Sustainable development is in the opening paragraph of the WTO rulebook. Governments continue to take steps at the WTO to respond to environmental issues. As you know, our members are still working hard to reach an agreement on curbing harmful fisheries subsidies. They are still considering how to improve access to environmental goods and green technologies. In our Committee on Trade and Environment, members are considering how trade cooperation may boost the circular economy, tackle plastic pollution, and strengthen resilience to natural disasters. And this is the right way to go, uh, because trade policies have a huge potential to support sustainability. First, they can improve access to cutting-edge technologies at competitive prices, helping green businesses to scale up. Second, fast-growing clean industries are creating jobs. Renewable energy already employs 10 million people worldwide. And third, by diversifying supply chains, they reduce the vulnerability of whole communities to environmental risks. Reliable regional and international supply chains reduce vulnerability to localized shocks and help with the affordable supply of essential goods and services. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken us into the worst economic downturn of our lifetimes. Keeping markets open to trade will be critical in laying the foundations for a strong and lasting recovery. So, in conclusion, my answer to today's question is a clear yes. We can do better on sustainable trade at the WTO. In fact, a collective response on trade that fosters sustainability, inclusiveness and resilience is what this crisis calls for. The Secretariat and I are here to support WTO members in their search for flexible, creative, and pragmatic solutions. Thank you for your attention, and I really look forward to hearing about your discussions. Stay safe.